Hello, this is Anne Marie, and it's Tip Top Tuesday, and I believe it is August 25th. And hopefully, I'm not echoing. And once again, the video part has disappeared, but I can see comments. So, and I know people can see me, so that's the important part. So, two topics today is EFT and I have been talking more about that um, with friends and things and maybe on here too and it's emotional freedom technique and basically I don't know who started it because I didn't do my research however these are some of the infos one there's a lot of EFT um, techniques or practitioners uh, through YouTube uh, one person is Margaret Lynch, who I, she works with wealth and EFT. And another person that has a wide range of topics is, is, is a guy named Brad Yates. Uh, both of them are very good. There's also other people. But just to give you a little hint what EFT is, it's the idea of um, you're tapping out something that holds you back. Uh, when I was younger, we were kind of raised to believe that once something's in your body, it's got to stay. You know, you have that um, was not considered, uh, it was solid, concrete brain. Now we know the, the neuroplasticity of the brain, and EFT is one example of how that works. So let me pick something that I think everybody I know. I think with the um, COVID-19, people have been feeling a little um, ready to make changes. How about that? So uh, I'm going to just do a, a short one on EFT. So you do tapping. So and you can follow along. You tap on the hands like this. And these are the, I'm going to do the points first. And then you can kind of see. So you're tapping up here. Right, right above the eyebrows, underneath the eyes. You can hit the bone. The, there's a bone right there. You can feel it. Underneath the nose, underneath the lips, and then you can go to the collarbones. And really give it a punch. And then you go. There's other points too. These are just the ones I'm I'm showing today. And my instinct or my intuition says what we should do today is about loving ourselves. I'm just feeling as I, as I try to learn to love myself more, that more and more of us would, could benefit from that and kind of underneath know that they don't think they're good enough. And of course, they are. They're made in the image and likeness of divine love. Okay. I know I'm such a character. Um, so here we go. Even though I've been told that I'm lovable, I don't believe that I am lovable. I find it really difficult. Even though I find it really difficult and, and I shut it down, when people tell me I'm a nice person or I'm lovable, I think, oh yeah, that's because I, I don't own it. I don't own it. And even when I sit, tell people or they tell me that I'm lovable, I think it's because of something I've done. It's not that I, it's my birthright to be lovable. And so I have a tendency to not take that in, to not understand the divineness, the love of that. And even though I do that, I practice really hard to deeply and completely love and accept myself. And the more I love and accept myself, the more I can. And just tap along with me. If you're here, I'm saying it kind of fast. The more I can tell myself I'm lovable and say, I'm lovable, I'm acceptable, I'm lovable, I'm lovable because just because the person I am. I'm lovable because I own my divine heart. I'm lovable because I shine the divine love. We're all lovable. We all have that heart connection. We all have the God 
connection. We may have cut it off ourselves, but we all have it. It's hidden in there. We all believe we have souls. Well, what do you think the soul's made of? But God's love, right? So we're just going to keep tapping. Hi, Tammy. This is called EFT. And what I'm doing is clearing old patterns that people have been kind of told. And it's an acupuncture, acupressure point. And you can find it on um, the internet. Uh, Margaret Lynch does one on money and wealth. And Brad Gates does a lot. And he's very popular. And there's other people too, but those are the two I'm, I follow. So we'll start, we'll do a few more. I have been told that I'm lovable because I do things, but in fact, I'm lovable because I'm part of God's love. We're all lovable because we're parts of God's love, and I deeply and completely accept that. I deeply and completely accept that about others too, and I deeply and completely want the best for them. Take a breath and release. So that's an example of EFT. It's not my strong suit, uh, but I am suggesting, and I'll put those two names down below so people can look at it. Now the next thing is I was, I was going to do a little bit of meditation. And one of the things I like to do is I use aromatherapy. Here's, a, here's an example of aromatherapy. This is sandalwood. Sandalwood is really good for centering, kind of helping you get focused before you do the meditation. And it's just great in centering, centering yourself also when you're feeling um, discombobulated. Discombobulated is a great word. Okay, so for this meditation, what I thought I would do is show you two different bowls. It, came, it occurred to me last week, I play favorites with my bowls. I have two, I play a lot. So these are my dragon bowls. There's this one, and there's this one. And I'm going to, uh, they sound different. That's, it. That's part of the teaching, that bowls can sound different. So I'm going to start, and then as you notice that these are they're shaped different too. This one's much thicker. They also have really, in, they're, they're dragon bowls, but they have really, really interesting designs on them. So here we go. And as some of you know, my art is very uh, meditative. So what I thought I would do is, sh is show this painting. Oh, I wanted to play the bowl and show the painting. I don't think I can do that. Let me, oh, I know how I can do it. There you go. And I want you to just focus on the picture. And I think I'm going to turn it this way today. And I, as you can see, there's lots of different um, depths in it. This is sand and watercolor, and this is glass bits. 
So I'm going to step aside. I'm going to encourage you to just look at the picture and use it as a visual way to meditate. Take a breath, take the, take the visual in. Feel your feet grounded, keep them grounded on the ground. I want you to feel the relaxation.
And there you go. I hope that was helpful. Good, I'm glad you liked it, Tammy. Yeah, I might, I've just been feeling that a lot of people are, are kind of angst right now, and I thought some um, visual and also the bowls would be useful um, for people's um, mental well-being and emotional well-being. Anyway, namaste. And, uh, I'm glad people, I'm glad you came, Tammy, and I'm glad that other people will be coming. And also, as some of you know, I have started a group, and it is a group that is going to be more along these same lines, and I will be offering some um, artwork at, at good prices. Um, it's good for meditation, as you know. Um, it's, it's, and it's called uh, Sacred, Sacred Stew. St 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 well, I stutter sometimes. This is one of those times. Sacred Energy Art Studio with Anne Marie McNamara. And it's, it's on Facebook. So there you go. And I'd love for you to join. Um, and in that group, we, you can have more individual conversations. You can ask me questions. You may even uh, tell me what you'd like to learn more about. I have uh, a lot. I know a lot. I just don't always know what people want to know. So there you go. Anyway, take care and have a great week. And uh, bye.